Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video tutorial. Today we are going to make an awesome augmented reality app. And guess what? You are not going to write a single line of code, rather we are going to be using a game engine called Unity. But before that, let me just show you the app that we are going to be creating today. So if you can see on the top left corner, there is an app called AR app that is augmented reality app and this is the app that we are going to be creating today. Just tap on that and let us see what it does. And there you go, we have got a Charizard on piece of paper as you can see and here you can actually rotate this. And that's pretty cool. And this is the magic of augmented reality guys. And here you can see that this guy is pretty angry, he has got teeth. And you can actually rotate him in 360 degrees and that's pretty cool. So with that being said, let's get started. So open up Google Chrome. So first off, we need to download Unity Game Engine for our operating system. So just type in Unity 3D, enter and tap on the first link. And next tap on this Get Unity button and tap on this Try Personal. And now tap on this Download Installer. Just download the installer and it's actually downloading. It's only 848KB. So Tap on this download file and now just select this Unity Download Assistant and open this up. Just tap on continue, continue and agree and now. If you want to make this app for Android you need to check mark this particular component and if you want to build this for iOS you need to check mark this as well and if you want to make this for tvOS you need to check mark this as well. And after that just tap on continue button and type in the password for your Mac. Tap on OK and now select the destination. So I'm selecting Macintosh HD and continue. And now it will start downloading all the components and also the Unity game engine for your operating system. So I'm going to pause the video right here and come back later after it's actually installed on my operating system. So see you there. So now that Unity is installed on your operating system, let us just open that up. So let me just tap on this Unity icon. So to open the Unity game engine, and now we're gonna start a new project. So tap on this new button and let me just name this something like augmented reality app. So augmented, sorry, augmented, augmented reality app, rather I'll just say AR app. And it's going to be a 3D one. So tap on this create project, selecting this particular one as 3D. So create project. And there you go. We are now in Unity game engine. And here is where we are going to make our augmented reality app. And don't be panicked looking at all these things. It's going to be very easy. Just believe me. So now that we have installed Unity game engine to our operating system, let me just minimize this and head over to Vuforia website. So let me just type in Vuforia. So Vuforia, enter. So tap on this first link before your augmented reality and now head over to development portal. So tap on this development portal button and now head over to develop options. So right here tap on this develop and now here we need to add a license key. So to add a license key first off we need to register on before development portal. As you can see right here I have already registered on this website so I am not going to do that again. So for you first you need to actually register and then add up the license key. So go right now register and come back here I will be waiting for you. So now that we are actually registered on this Vuforia website we need to add a license key. So tap on this add license key button so tap on this and now select this particular option development. So after that we need to name our app. So our app name is AR app. So tap on this next button and now check mark this agreement license and tap on this confirm button. And there you go. We have actually added a license. So this is our license. So tap on this AR app and now we need to copy this license key. So just copy this and I'll tell you where it is actually useful. So command C to copy or you can actually do right click and copy as well. So now after copying this one tap on this target manager. So to actually add a database. So tap on add database. So just put some name here. Doesn't matter. Maybe something like awesome photo. Awesome photo. And tap on this create button. And make sure that you actually selected this particular thing that is device. So tap on create. And name must have no spaces. Sorry brother. So I'm going to use a underscore. So awesome photo. And tap on create. And there you go, we have actually added a target. So tap on this awesome photo and now we need to upload our image. So now tap on add target. And here I'm going to use this particular photo as you can see. So this is the photo that I'm going to use for this particular augmented reality app. 
tap on this browse button go to desktop and choose the image so this is the image that I'm going to use for this app so tap on open and let it upload and here for the width you can actually specify any number so let's just type 10 and I think that's actually enough so let me just type 10 and tap on add give some random name doesn't matter so tap on add and now wait for the target to upload that is the image so now the image is uploaded as you can see right here so it's actually uploaded and we have got the rating of 5 it has given this image a 5 star and what does that mean so basically it's saying that this particular image is perfect for this augmented reality app so guys basically when you're uploading an image as a target for this particular augmented reality app make sure that your image is highly contrasted it has a lot of colors something like that so basically any image with awesome colors awesome contrast etc so as I'm using something like that it has given me a 5 star and that's pretty cool so now select this particular image and download the database for this one so download database and now we're going to select this particular unity editor and tap on download so it's downloading and now it's downloaded and that was pretty fast and after that now we need to download Vuforia SDK for our Unity game engine. So tap on this downloads button and go to downloads and tap on this download for Unity. So to download Vuforia SDK for our Unity game. So tap on I agree. So it's downloading. I'm gonna pause this video and come back to you after it's actually downloaded. So just wait for that. And now that it's actually downloaded and here you can see the two files that we downloaded right now. Now head over to your Unity game engine and first let me just delete this main camera so tap on this main camera and just tap on this delete button so just select this delete and minimize this unity game engine and now tap on this SDK and which is SDK right here so this is the SDK file so tap on this SDK file so to import the settings for unity game engine so tap on import and now if you can see it's actually importing all the settings and etc to our unity game engine and now we're gonna say no thanks man no thanks so it's actually imported and now minimize this again and tap on this awesome photo database and import the settings as well so tap on this import button and it will start importing this to our unity engine and I think it's imported and we are done so now the first thing you need to do is tap on this search bar search for AR camera so tap on AR camera and here you can see that we have got a prefab that is AR camera so tap on AR camera so drag it and put it right here in the hierarchy and there you go you can see our camera in the scene right here and there you go this is our camera right here if you can zoom in you can see that here there is a camera and now with AR camera selected go to the inspector menu right here so here is the inspector menu and here in the rotation just give a value of 90 for X so 90 and enter and now if you can see our camera is rotated by 90 degrees okay fine and the next thing you need to do is add a photo that is add our image so search for image target so image target just drag this and put it in the hierarchy as well and there you go here is our image target and make sure that the position of this particular image in the inspector menu as 0 0 0 for both sorry for all the three x y and z so after that under this image target behavior script you need to choose your photo that is tap on this database button so tap on this database drop down and select your photo that is awesome photo and here if you can see you are actually getting an error this is not the photograph that we have uploaded we uploaded some kind of colorful photo and here it is showing a white photograph that's weird so let us just get rid of this so what I'm going to do I'm going to open this image target and go to awesome photo and here you can see that pokey image something like that with a black dot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up that photo right here in this folder so where is my photograph here it is so I'm going to drag this up and put it right here and after that what you need to do is you need to just drag this photo and put it over there on this white part and just drop it over there and now you can see that this is our image that we uploaded and there we go and next what you need to do is you need to get some 3d model so that we can put it on this photo for our app so let me just minimize this and head over to Google Chrome again and now we are gonna search for Pokemon models so type in Pokemon models enter 
and go to this particular website that is rosestudios.co.uk they have got many pokemon 3d models guys that's pretty awesome and now i'm going to select one of my favorite pokemon that is charizard so tap on this charizard and download the 3d model for this so tap on this download button and now accept for this terms and conditions just by going so tap on this i agree and will follow button so just tap on this and download the charizard 3d model and it started downloading so just close this and tap on this zip file so to extract the file and get the 3d model and there you go here is our charizard 3d model folder so what you're gonna need to do is you need to just minimize this and go to your unity engine unity game engine again and where is the model so here is our model so sorry so here is the model so just go to assets folder right here and drag this Charizard 3D models folder here so just drop it here so now as you can see Charizard folder is actually imported so tap on this so to open our Charizard 3D models folder so now here you can see here that we have got some models so the things with the arrow right here so these are the models these are just the photos so just don't bother about that so all we need is a models so let's just get the Charizard with this orange color so just oh my god it's very huge just put it right here after that let's just scale our Charizard so I'm going to say that my Charizard is 0.5 for the X axis 0.5 for the Y and 0.5 for the X sorry Z and it's still huge and I think it doesn't matter so here you can see our Charizard on the photographs and let me just press the option button so to rotate our scene. So when you tap on this option button you can see that we can rotate and it's not on the photograph and that's not cool. So tap on this Charizard button and just give the position as 0 for the X, 0 for the Y and 0 for the Z. And now if you can see our Charizard is right on the photograph right in the center and now what you need to do is you need to just tap on this AR camera and open the Vuforia configuration right here in the inspector menu so tap on this open Vuforia configuration and remember that license key that we have copied in that website so just paste that license key right here so I'm gonna paste the license key so and there you go after pasting the license key what you need to do is you need to just put a check mark for this load awesome photo and also for this activate so put a check mark for activate and as well as for load awesome photos so I'm going to do that and now we are done with our unity game we are done now we need to just convert this unity game to our iOS game so that we can use this particular unity game that is augmented reality app in our iPhone or iPad anything so what you need to do is you need to just head over to file and tap on this build settings and if you're making this app for Android just select this particular option Android and if you're making this for iOS so tap on this iOS and next what you need to do is you need to just tap on this build button so just tap on this and now let me just name this something like AR apps something like the AR apps so our Xcode project name is AR apps so tap on the save button and I'm going to save this on desktop and now it's going to process some things for you so to just convert this unity game to our Xcode project so that we could just run this on our iPhone or iPad so I'm going to pause this video right here and come back as soon as it is done and there you go our project is now created so tap on this AR apps and now open this Xcode project so this is our game so this is our project so open this up so connect your iPhone to MacBook so to just build and run this project on your iPhone so I've just connected my iPhone and here you can see that so now just tap on this run button so that you can actually use that particular augmented reality magical app on your iPhone and see the magic of augmented reality and as you can see we have got some errors and let's just see what is that okay that's because of this particular signing option so just tap on this team button and select the particular team that you have got and tap on this run button again so it's building so now I'm back on my iPhone and here you can see that our app AR app is now installed on this iPhone and we are gonna test that out so before that let me just head over to camera and as you can see this is the image that we have uploaded on the Vuforia website and this is the image that we are going to test our app on so again there's nothing on this image I didn't put anything just the paper okay 
fine so let's just head over to the app and let me just tap on this AR app and of course it's made with unity and here you can see that we have a Charizard and wow this is augmented reality guys this is the magic of augmented reality and here you can see that this guy is pretty angry he got teeth as well oh my god this is my favorite pokemon and you can actually rotate him and see how he's actually looking behind how his tail looks like and this is pretty awesome right so that's it guys that's it for this video this is how you actually make an augmented reality app and in future we're going to be making some awesome things with this particular 3d models and augmented reality thing so stay tuned for that and I think you actually enjoyed watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with another awesome videos like this. So till then, goodbye.